So I guess when it comes to your favorite all-time things, whether it's movies or music, if you're a physical collector like I am, chances are you own more than one copy of your absolute favorite stuff. And one of my, probably one of my top five records of all time, and my top five keeps expanding, but one of my absolute top five records of all time is Pearl Jam 10. Um, when I first started getting back into vinyl, it's one of the first records that I bought. I got the new 10 Redux edition, the double LP beautiful edition at an Aldi grocery store of all places. Um, is where I ended up finding it, and it was like 15 bucks, and it was one of those kind of lucky finds. Um, but when I grew up with Pearl Jam, I was 11 or 12 when Pearl Jam's 10 came out. Um, you know, that image of the cover, the iconic cover, is just kind of burned in my head. So while this is, you know, cool alternate artwork, I wanted to have a record with the original artwork, the kind of dark purple, reddish coloring, um, the five bandmates all standing in the pose um, in front of the cutout lettering, you know, that iconic cover I wanted to have, if anything, just, you know, to display up on the wall. And um, what I really wanted to get was the purple target splatter edition um but i happened to miss out on it and for well over a year they didn't have it at my local target um and i didn't want to pay it was going you know double price on ebay or local um you know vintage stores because i had an inkling one day i would find it um until then i got you know the standard um, black edition um, I think from Walmart for pretty cheap um, and I figured you know if I ever did run into the target edition you know even if this was just artwork on my wall you know it would be worth having a copy of this um, you know with the original iconic cover but then lo and behold about a week ago I'm at my local target and um, lately, between Christmas and Easter, um, it seems like, you know, Walmart, Target, all the big box stores um, have been getting kind of lazy. They haven't really been restocking much of anything. Um, it's still kind of like some of the half-ripped cellophane records from, you know, Christmas time, so I wasn't really expecting much. And my local Target happened to restock. They had about a dozen of them. Pearl Jam 10 with the pressed on purple vinyl limited edition. So. I don't know. Some people, some collectors are just different. I like the colored vinyl variants. Some people say they don't sound as good. Some people think they're kind of gimmicky, but I really like, you know, special edition colored variants of records. And so this was one that was on top of my list and I'm glad that I finally found it. So I wanted to, show it to anyone who hasn't seen this yet so it comes in a nice slip sleeve here nice heavyweight sleeve with some nice um, artwork on the back handwritten lyrics with all the um, personnel information um, typically whenever I get um, these sleeves I tend to put the record in an actual new, clean, um, you know, protective anti-static sleeve, just so I don't want to, you know, tear records through the edge of these. It's stupid collector thing. But anyways, so here is the, the vinyl, and it said purple vinyl, so I wasn't sure if it was pure purple or if it was kind of like a smoky purple kind of like the the really cool target um prince purple vinyl which if you haven't seen that one that one's really cool that one's cool just i would just hang the record on my wall that one's really cool looking um but just opening this up kind of see it's got just a very 
very subtle smoky well not even like a real smoky just kind of a little a little like purple marbled action going on it's just very very faint I think it's gonna look really cool on the turntable and hopefully it sounds good too um, I'm not sh I haven't really read whether the standalone Pearl Jam 10s have the original 90s mix of the record or if they have kind of the remasters or the it's not the Brendan O'Brien remix that comes on the 10 Redux album um, but I'm hoping that this is a little closer in sound to um, what I grew up with in the 90s this is probably the record that I've played and abused more than anything probably in my lifetime I've went I went through several cassettes of this um, several CDs um, you know you buy stuff over and over the stuff that you really love and this is definitely one that I've probably bought at least a dozen times um, evidenced by the fact that I have you know <laughs> at least three copies on vinyl um, but yeah I'm really psyched to have the new colored well it's not new the the colored variant of Pearl Jam 10 in my collection um, what's one of your top albums that you own multiple copies of make sure and leave a comment down below and like and subscribe for more vinyl videos coming soon on this channel thanks for watching <laughs>